You're high right now. I might not show, but I'm on. Plus the methadone kind of like evens out the dope. Dope, a.k.a. heroin, flooding the streets of Baltimore. What are you addicted to? Yeah. Um, Heroin. Yeah. How'd you get addicted? Well, I used to be drinking over at 58 pounds. I had weight loss surgery. But I was on um, a lot of different pain medication. It starts with the pills, oxycodone, a common story we heard in Baltimore. You can only get so many prescriptions till you turn to the streets for your supply. How easy is it to get? drugs on these streets in Baltimore. It's very easy. Pete Griffin was an addict for decades and has now spent 13 years working for Helping Up Mission, a faith-based organization supporting people who have suffered through addiction. He takes us on a tour of the drug-addled corners where people sleep and prostitute just to find their next hit. Why do you think it's so bad in this city? In this city here, and I said all the time, it's the hopelessness. You start seeing the generational curses that's been placed uh, upon the city with mm -hmm. this open crisis. Baltimore had the highest overdose death rate by far of any large American city from 2018 to 2022 at 170 deaths per 100,000 people. According to the CDC data analyzed by the New York Times, the state of Maryland is expected to receive more than $230 million in settlements from drug companies and distributors. But Baltimore did not join that suit. Instead, in their own ongoing lawsuit, the city has already won more than $400 million in settlements from five companies. And over the weekend, it settled with a sixth. Johnson & Johnson, we don't know those terms. Now a trial is beginning with two remaining defendants that the city blames for flooding the market with opioids. Sencora, formerly known as Amerisource Bergen, telling NBC News they're looking forward to, quote, sharing their role in the supply chain, adding it, quote, does not determine the supply of the medications it distributes, nor do we impact demand for those medications. McKesson did not want to issue a statement as it fights the lawsuit in court. The city hoping to use this money to help more people who are addicted and save lives. I didn't think that I could do this. Jay has been clean now for a year, just graduating from the program at Helping Up Mission. She says she was raped by her father at the age of four and introduced to drugs by her own family. She chose to get clean the day she found out she was pregnant. I'm not going to put him through that. He's not going to know what it's like to see me use. He's not going to know what it's like to not have a mommy. Jaya is leaving the safety of Helping Up Mission in a few weeks, committed to remaining clean, like many before her. Rick and Lita Hughes telling us their son Cooper graduated from the mission as well after an addiction to Oxy following surgery. There were times when, I mean, literally for weeks at a time, we, we, we were pretty sure we were going to get that phone call saying, you know, he was gone. And they got that call after Cooper was sober for three years. He was killed in November by heroin, cut with a drug that's become the biggest threat, fentanyl. If I can go to the cemetery and see where my parents are buried and my son is buried, that's not, not that shouldn't happen. And the city, along with organizations like Helping Up Mission, now anticipating an influx of millions of dollars from the settlements, hoping to repair these shattered lives. If I had a message to people out there, yo, do not start using needles because it will ruin your life. Yasmin is joining us now. So jury selection today at the start yeah. of that Baltimore trial. What does that trial look like? And if the city wins, what would they do with the money? It could be ongoing. We talked about settlements so far over $400 million um, for the city. They're expecting hundreds of millions of dollars more if, in fact, they win um, those fines from the three remaining um, defendants. Mayor Scott actually already calling for an executive order saying all this money, by the way, Hal, is going to be allotted to substance abuse and overdose um, programs, establishing an opioid restitution advising board, choosing essentially, guiding where this money is going to go, and also sending, setting up somewhat of a trust fund, right, where this money is going to gain interest, um, essentially, so that it works for the city over the coming years. Because you think about how problematic this huge opioid crisis is and how much help these people actually need help. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.